Okay, welcome back. So uh, with this video here, what I want to do is I'm going to set the rack to the form. And then uh, do a little carving on the eyes, the nostril, and the nose. And that's the uh, first step in how I prep one mountain of deer. Now, a little disclaimer. I'm not a commercial taxidermist. I'm self-taught. And I do this stuff for friends, family, things like that. But uh, I have mounted a lot of deer, a lot of my own deer. And I'm pretty happy with what I can do. Now, somebody uh, who does a lot of taxidermy is going to watch these videos and say, well, that's not how I do it or that's not the correct way. When it comes to taxidermy, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Don't be afraid to try what I show you on this, uh, these videos. You can do a lot of this stuff yourself. But I'm pretty happy with uh, what I can do. I can get it from the field to the wall. So, like I said, in this video, I'm going to set the uh, rack on the form. Now, this form, um, I started my video with the four-point buck that uh, my son Joey shot. This isn't that deer. This is a deer I'm working on this weekend. And a guy I went to school with, his son shot this last year. And I've put it off way too long, but I'm getting this thing mounted for him before he ends up shooting another one this year. Who knows? But uh, here's the rack that goes with it. Pretty nice 10 point. Real nice. Okay, so the first thing I do is I drill holes in it. In the skull plate. I'm going to put a hole here, a hole here, which I've already drilled. And right here. And I use a 3 16 drill bit for that. Which I have right here. And I've already just drilled that in at a decent angle that'll get me the screws set in the wood that's in the top of the form with the three sixteenths. And then what I do is I take a bigger bit and I just take a little bit right off the top there. And I've already done that too. But what that does is with my three inch galvanized exterior screws that I use to attach this is I put that bevel in there and you can see the head of these screws are beveled and what that does is that's gonna sit in there nice and flat and hold that skull in place and I'm gonna do clay work around it and everything Scre three screws are all you need that's gonna hold it real nice and that's how you get the skull plate ready now the next step is we're going to set it up there, line it up, and uh, we're going to drill through these holes I've already done into the form. And then we'll see how that looks. So I'll come back to you and show you what I'm doing with that. Okay, so I've got this form tilted forward, so hopefully you can get a good look at what I'm doing still waiting on that camera that I ordered they're really taking their time on that but anyway so yeah, a lot of the borax on there and stuff still so you'll see on these skull plates where the skull grows together here and you've got that line well there's also a seam on this form right in the center and you can see how the artist that made this form has got a hump right here, which is the same as this hump. So the first thing you want to do is absolutely make sure you're lined up and centered right here. So you're going to hopefully have a good cut on here. So it sets real nice like this. Which, like I said, I've already trimmed up on mine, but you might have to trim up on it. So here's the center. And the distance between the eyes, like I said on my last video, for most every deer, unless you got something really funky, then you're going to have to make adjustments and measure and stuff. But you're going to be right at, to the eye socket, two fingers. And I've got my two fingers on both sides. Got this centered. And I've trimmed the bottom to where it sets nice. 
you know, just like it was on the real deer. And I think that's going to... I mean, that looks good. That's... I like it. Got that all nice and even. So let's drill the holes in there. So I'll take my pre-drilled holes. And go straight into the wood block on the top of the form. Just enough to get a little start. And that's going to help my wood screws go in. So let me change my bits on my drill and then we'll get the screws in there. Okay, so you got that lined up. I'm going to go ahead and put a screw in here. Make sure it's where you want it. You don't want to have to do this twice or drill another hole anywhere else. I'd like to get it the first time. Okay, I got the first one started, and I wasn't really prepared, so my screws are clearing the other side of the room, so I'll come right back. Okay, let's try this again. You got that lined up. Now I'm going to go to the back one. And I'm not putting them in all the way tight just yet. When you do that, you want to do it evenly because you're going to you're gonna move the skull when you tighten these up. And I don't have my stand real tight either. It's kind of going down on me. Tighten that up a little bit. Working against myself a little bit. Okay. As you can guess, this ain't no professional video. <laughs> Just some hillbilly doing his own taxidermy. Go. all three of them's in it's a real tight fit now this ain't permanent this is just the first setup because this has to come off when I do the mountain set this back up see what this thing looks like and I'm going to step back and take a look at it all kinds of different angles and just make sure that rack's on there right. Get a look at it. That looks pretty good. That's what the side view is going to look like. This guy's going to have a real nice deer mount. Now those holes are there. So when I go to mount this deer. And I get the form on here. And it's time to set this in. They're going to go right in where I've got them already preset. So that's how you set the rack. Now we'll work on uh, carving out the eyes. Okay. So when you get your form, you'll see that the tear duct is already in here. Some of them are uh, a lot better than others. Everybody has their own preference to what style of uh, form they like to use and everything. This is what I like to use. It's all carved in real good. All I got to do is put the... Uh, cut in there that's going to let me tuck my tear duct duct 
and I don't want this to be too thick just then what I use is a Dremel tool and I've got the small uh, round head cutting tool there and that's it I just hand carve this with my Dremel let's go ahead and do that I'm going to start on the inside work my way out right along that line and there's a turn in it right here so I'll follow that turn and when I follow this turn down I want to go at an angle like this kind of this way so that you can't see directly into the crack so when I tuck it it's going to be tucked around here and it's going to look real natural That's all there is to it. Just follow the line. And uh, I'll do both sides the same. Try to make them look the same. And the next thing I want to carve is the uh, nostril here. So I'm going to use the same tool. And what I do here is these nostrils, they're carved in quite a bit. So you can see it's kind of shape of a whale. I'm going to do that same thing on the inside. I'm going to give myself a place to tuck the uh, extra skin and stuff on the nostrils and I'm going to come all the way up here with the tail of the little whale here Yeah, I'm going to have a little place to tuck. There you go. And you can see it's got a hole in it now. And I'll stuff the extra skin in here. And that'll look nice and real. It's got a crease coming up here. So in the end, you'll see the end effect of it. And I'll do the other side, the eye and the nostril, the same way. And then I'll come back to you and we'll do the mouth. Okay, so I've done uh, both eyes, both nostrils. And I've tipped my form way back because I like to have the mouth up here where I can see it. And what I'm going to do is go at an upward angle with my Dremel tool. I'm not going in like this. I'm going up. That way when I tuck the uh, skin around this, we're going to tuck this in. We're going to tuck the top in. It's going to wrap around that and that's going to make that look nice and real. And it's all about creating the illusion of being alive again. So I'll do a close-up when I get done here, but I'll go ahead and drill this out. Maybe you can get a kind of a good idea of what I'm doing with that. So I like to start, I like to start in the middle and work my way back on both sides. So I'm going to start in the middle, try not to do that. And I'm going to go up right on, you can see the line on the form. And at an upward angle, I'm going to start just like that and follow that jawline around. Take your time, you want to get this right. Now 
right here in the corner of the mouth. You can see it's a little round. I'm going to round this out a little bit and give myself a lot of room because I'm going to have the top and the back and the lip all come together here. And I don't want wrinkles in my edge of my mouth when I'm done. <laughs> basic I've come down at an upward angle down this side giving myself some room in the corner of the mouth here like I said these forms they sh they're real user-friendly I'm not going to give away what form I can't give away all my tickers but that's the basic now I'll do this side and then I'll do a close-up and show you what I've carved here and that'll be uh, the start to uh, getting your deer mounted Okay, now to just sum up what I've done here, we've set the set the uh, skull plate, we've set the rack on there. Now you can see where I've carved out this tear duct. I went at an upward angle right here, just like that. That's going to look real nice. Every, you know, I'm going to tuck that real nice. I don't want it to look like this, where there's a, you can see a gap. I don't want to have to do any clay work, so I'm going to keep that tucked real nice and keep up on it and. You can see the uh, kind of the whale shape I've done in the nostril there. So I've got the nostrils all carved out, ready to go. This one had a bad spot in it. I'll fill that with clay. They sent it to me that way. You'll get that. You'll have to repair forms and stuff. This one is a little wider than I wanted, but same as the other side. And then here's the mouth where I opened up the corner here for a little tucking and we've gone right around the edge of it and now we can do uh our final fleshing and uh, prep work and i'll get this deer mounted maybe i'll put on the end here what it looks like when it's all done thanks for watching guys hit subscribe if you want to learn more things about what i'm doing and good luck deer hunting this year